Is your life already scripted? This is the provocative question that has intrigued philosophers, scientists, and thinkers for centuries. Today, we dive into the heart of this debate through the lens of Sam Harris, a renowned neuroscientist and philosopher who boldly claims that free will is nothing more than an illusion. Welcome, dear viewers, to an exploration that might just challenge the very core of your beliefs about human freedom and control. Sam Harris argues that every thought, every decision, and every action is predetermined by the complex interplay of neurons firing in our brains. He asserts that the feeling of making choices is merely a cognitive illusion. In his book, Free Will, Harris dismantles the notion that we are the conscious authors of our actions. Instead, he posits that our brains operate under the laws of physics and biology, leaving no room for the traditional concept of free will. This perspective is not just a philosophical stance. It is rooted in the latest neuroscientific findings. Neuroscientific research has provided compelling evidence supporting determinism. Studies have shown that our brains make decisions seconds before we become consciously aware of them. Experiments using functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, reveal that brain activity can predict choices before they enter our conscious awareness. This delay between neural decision-making and conscious realization suggests that what we perceive as free will is simply our brain catching up with its own predetermined decisions. These findings challenge the traditional view that we have ultimate control over our actions. Philosophically, determinism asserts that all events, including human actions, are determined by previously existing causes. This perspective aligns with Harris's view, suggesting that our sense of autonomy is an elaborate narrative constructed by our minds. The philosophical roots of determinism trace back to ancient thinkers like Democritus and extend through to modern philosophers such as Baruch Spinoza. They argue that if every event has a cause, then free will is incompatible with a universe governed by causal laws. Harris's work revives this age-old debate with a modern, scientifically-backed approach. The implications of determinism are profound, especially when it comes to personal responsibility. If our choices are not truly ours, can we be held accountable for our actions? Harris argues that understanding the deterministic nature of our behavior does not absolve us of responsibility, but rather redefines it. It shifts the focus from blame to understanding the underlying causes of behavior. This perspective encourages a more compassionate and rehabilitative approach to dealing with wrongdoings, as it acknowledges the factors beyond an individual's control that contribute to their actions. Ethical considerations also come into play when examining determinism. If free will is an illusion, what does this mean for our moral frameworks? Traditional ethics often rest on the premise that individuals have the freedom to choose between right and wrong. However, if our choices are predetermined, this foundation is shaken. Harris suggests that understanding our lack of free will could lead to a more empathetic and nuanced approach to morality, one that considers the complex web of influences on human behavior. This perspective invites a reevaluation of how we judge and treat others, potentially leading to a more just and compassionate society. The justice system, too, faces significant challenges under the scrutiny of determinism. Traditional legal systems are built on the concept of individual responsibility and the ability to choose between lawful and unlawful actions. If determinism holds true, the notion of punishment as a deterrent becomes questionable. Harris advocates for a justice system that prioritizes rehabilitation over retribution, focusing on mitigating the factors that lead to criminal behavior. This shift could transform how societies address crime and punishment, 
moving towards methods that address root causes rather than merely punishing symptoms. Counter-arguments to determinism abound, often emphasizing the subjective experience of choice and agency. Critics argue that the feeling of making decisions and exercising control is undeniable and foundational to human experience. They contend that dismissing free will undermines personal autonomy and moral responsibility. Some philosophers propose compatibilism, the idea that free will and determinism are not mutually exclusive and that we can reconcile our subjective experiences with a deterministic framework. These debates continue to fuel the philosophical and scientific discourse on the nature of human freedom. Harris addresses these counter-arguments by emphasizing the difference between the feeling of making a choice and the actual process that leads to a decision. He argues that just because we feel free doesn't mean we are free. This distinction is crucial in understanding his perspective. Harris acknowledges the subjective experience of choice, but insists that it is an illusion created by our brain's complexity. He maintains that recognizing this illusion doesn't diminish our lives, but rather enriches our understanding of the human condition, paving the way for a more scientifically informed approach to personal and societal issues. Real-world examples and experiments further illustrate the principles of determinism. One notable study involved participants hooked up to brain scanners asked to press a button with either hand. Researchers could predict which hand would be used several seconds before the participants were consciously aware of their choice. This experiment, among others, underscores the idea that our sense of making spontaneous decisions is illusory. These findings reinforce Harris's argument and highlight the intricate mechanisms at play in our brains, dictating our actions long before we become conscious of them. The psychological impact of accepting determinism can be profound. When individuals begin to grasp that their actions are the result of complex neural processes rather than autonomous choice, it can lead to a crisis of identity and purpose. However, Harris argues that this realization need not be disheartening. Instead, it offers a pathway to greater self-compassion and understanding. By acknowledging the factors beyond our control, we can foster a more forgiving and supportive environment for ourselves and others. This shift in perspective can lead to profound personal growth and societal change. Critiques from other philosophers continue to challenge Harris's stance on determinism. Notable thinkers like Daniel Dennett advocate for compatibilism, arguing that free will can coexist with determinism. They suggest that even if our choices are influenced by prior events, we still possess the capacity to reflect and make considered decisions. This view attempts to bridge the gap between our intuitive sense of agency and the scientific understanding of causality. The ongoing dialogue between determinists and compatibilists ensures that the debate remains dynamic and evolving, reflecting the complexities of human cognition and behavior. If society were to widely accept determinism, the potential shifts could be transformative. Policies could be developed with a deeper understanding of the causal factors behind behavior leading to more effective interventions in education, mental health, and criminal justice. Harris envisions a world where compassion and empathy replace blame and punishment, fundamentally altering how we interact with one another. By focusing on the underlying causes of actions, we could create a more just and equitable society, one that acknowledges the intricate web of influences shaping human behavior. As we grapple with these ideas, several challenging questions arise. If free will is an illusion, how do we redefine concepts of success and failure? Can we still hold people accountable 
for their actions. What does this mean for our understanding of consciousness and self-awareness? These questions are not merely academic. They strike at the heart of our lived experiences and societal structures. Engaging with them can spark lively discussions and reflections, inviting viewers to reconsider deeply held beliefs and explore new ways of thinking. In conclusion, the exploration of free will versus determinism is more than an intellectual exercise. It is a journey into the essence of what it means to be human. Sam Harris's arguments challenge us to rethink our assumptions about autonomy and control, urging us to embrace a more nuanced and scientifically grounded perspective. By understanding the deterministic nature of our actions, we can cultivate a more compassionate and empathetic world. Thank you for joining us on this thought-provoking journey. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning.